Hello everybody, welcome back to King Games once again, and today we're going to be looking at the Engine Minecraft plugin for Engine um, hosting. Basically what Engine is, it's a um, guild and clan hosting for um, gaming websites. They do Minecraft, they do a bunch of other games, but today we're going to be looking at the bucket plugin for Engine. Um, basically what Engine is, is it's a guild hosting website. Well, like I said, this is my server's website hosted through them. This adds a couple features to it that... Um, this plugin will add extra features to your website that makes it better. First of all, it'll add um, some more advanced server stats, like who's online and um, stuff like that. Um, all this information as well. Um, it also adds um, the following things. It adds a shop system, show you guys how to use that. It'll add tags like this, admin, owner. And it will um, show you guys all this, which is just this. It tells you the response and players online and all that stuff. So, what are you going to need to get this working? First, you're going to need to install, uh, you're going to download the Engine Minecraft plugin by hitting download. Hit download button again. And downloading that, you're going to need Vault. Hit download. Download that. You're also going to need a, um, it, you're also going to need an Engine website. So, set that up. And once you're set up with that, you're good to go. You're also going to need a, um, a server. Um, I'm using a vioserve.com hosted server. They're a great website. If you guys are looking to host a server, you don't want to host them at home because your computer's not good enough, your internet's not good enough, you don't want the stress of having it at home. Whatever the reason, you guys, I definitely recommend checking them out. Coupon code in the description box below. Um, anyway, I have a control panel. You guys will mostly have a control panel if you guys have a host. If not, you've got just regular folders. Um, obviously, I'm on a Mac. It's a little bit different, but it's fairly the same thing. Um, we'll delete that. Okay. I'll go home here just so I can get back to home. Okay. First, you want to begin by going to your plugins folder and uploading the two um, Vault and Engine Minecraft plugin. Both the um, links will be in the description box below. Basically, the reason you need Vault is because the um, basically it hooks into permissions so that the coders of the Engine Minecraft plugin don't have to sit there and add support for each individual plugin, but it um, kind of just hooks into all of them using Vault, which is really cool. Um, it ho um, Vault hooks into most of the major um, ones. These, I mean, if you've got like something called like I don't know, banana perms or whatever, it's not a very you know big one. It probably won't work. Need one of these um, are currently the ones that they support. So what you'll do is you upload both the Vault and the plugin dot jar. Then you go ahead and come over to your um, engine control panel which is your website slash admin and you gotta be logged in obviously to be able to do this I think, think my page is giving me a hard time here one second sorry about this yeah okay it's being unresponsive okay come home to the admin home first we'll begin by um, just saying in setting up the server with the plugin go to your um, website slash admin oh not users I'm sorry go to games if you set up the um, server correctly it will be here if not just hit add game go to engine plugin actually I'm sorry first you want to go to server and you want to enter your server IP um, port description um, features um, version uh, query port which will be found in your server.properties file and you gotta set these lines to the query port you want and enable query true so it can connect to it. After you've done that you can go back to games and you can hit engine plugin. Obviously you're gonna download and install it and install um, vault like we did here. Now this is now you're gonna have to get a authentication key. Now this is my authentication key. I've blacked it out. Basically what you're gonna do is you're going to um generate one in your server. You're gonna have to come over to your server here and go onto the web console. Now if you're in the web console, you're gonna type in whoops. Whoops, okay. You're gonna type in engine key and then copy and paste this code in. If you're in game, type slash engine key and then copy and paste it in. I'm just gonna put it in here. Engine key copy and paste it in and if you guys look here it'll say that the key checking key is invalid is valid and then it'll say the specified key in the existing one are the same that's okay normally that's what it, it'll say if you're reconnecting it again but normally for you it'll say um, successfully done or whatever exactly it says once you're done with that you can go ahead and you can get started after it's been installed successfully 
go over to users first of all and you we're going to set up the tags with the website so basically when you come to your website um, let me see here let me go to my website you'll see that i'm owner with the little tag admin and it's got a little blazing fire behind it i'll show you guys how to do that in a second as well go to users hit tags add new tag tag name we're going to put um premium because I ha that's the last one I have to do. You can add a tag link. You can display what you want. Um, Prem, em. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a lot of them to do, so I'm just gonna have to do that for right now. And username special effect. Choose one you want. Sparkle blue, I guess. Oop. Sparkle. Where is it? I don't remember where. It went. Sparkle blue. Okay. Um, you guys can mess around with that. Now, what you need is Minecraft Sync. Make sure that it says plugin is installed. Go to Enable, On, in, select In-Game Ring to Sync With. I'm going to have to do Premium, obviously, that's my last one. Select World, All Worlds, and Sync Options. User gets um, tagged on website. This basically means that if they get if they get a rank on the website, which I'll show you in a second, that it automatically goes to the game. I don't want that. I'm going to not do that. If they lose a tag on the website, then they lose it in game, I don't want that. But if they get ranked in game, I want it to auto tag the user on engine. If they lose the rank in game, I want to remove the tag on engine. That's what I want it to do. Hit save changes. Now we've got to tag the people for what they are. I'm gonna go ahead and select myself. Tag users, I'm gonna go to premium. You guys can um, choose when it'll expire, mine's gonna be never. Hit save changes and you'll go back, oh, hit save changes and you go back to your server. And I believe, uh, one second, because I already had the owner one. Let me just do this. Clear tags. Okay, um, user tools, clear tags. And it's all to premium. Okay. As you guys will see here, now I am premium, and I've got that blue sparkling look, and there's colors and all that stuff to play around with. Okay, I'll put myself back to so back to owner and we'll get on with it okay next we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the shop that gets set up with it you go ahead and go over to pages find the page you want i've made this testing page which is not actually available through here it's just a testing page okay you this is actually not supposed to be here okay you hit this one you hit add module you come down here and you go to um shopping system and you hit edit this will give you all the information this is actually one that i was doing earlier okay rank two we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit edit and name it what you want i'm just gonna say vip the price is gonna be ten dollars i'm gonna say vip for 30 days okay gets these commands and slash test slash test one whatever command you you're gonna give them in the permissions file Optional, um, short arm description, just VIP. Custom field, um, you guys can just ask them just any question that you'll get later. I'm just going to ask how old are you, just as an example. Who can view this item? People that aren't signed up on your website? Everyone? Um, this is everyone that's, um, guests, registered users, everyone. Guests are just people that have not registered your site. If they've got a certain tag, I'm going to say all. Oh. After purchase as these tags user, if you want to give them VIP on your website, you can automatically do that with here, which I'm going to do, and tag expire length 30 days. And this is just the expiration length of the tag, not the actual um, commands. So we'll set that now. Go to Minecraft commands and commands to execute. I use permissions bucket, so this is the command to set a player to a certain group. And you set, say the group you want. So this is name. Basically, name will... Um, be the variable replaced with the purchasing Minecraft username. Talk to more about in a second. Add market commands. I like to add broadcast. Thanks. Um, name for donating. Um, and it'll automatically put their name in. Expire commands. Basically, this is what happens when the thir the expire length is up. Okay, so I'm gonna set them back to um, the group default on my server. Okay, require user to be online for commands to execute. Um, that's important if you're giving them, like if you're going to be running the give command to give them diamonds or whatever, that's important they have to be online for that to happen. So basically once it's online, then it'll activate the um, 
then it'll activate the thing. Expire length, if, if there's a expire length, basically it'll run these expired commands. So 30 days. So when they buy it, it'll ex execute these commands. It'll wait this amount of days, and then it'll execute these commands. Hit save changes. Nope. Not sure what happened there. Um. Anyway, you guys can also upload an image. I probably just had an error real quick. Shop settings. You guys can obviously shut up your shop. Um, add user and verify Minecraft character. Basically what this means is on your website, they have to come over here, click on their account. They have to come to characters and they have to add a character for Minecraft by following these instructions. That's recommended because then you can make sure that they got the right username. You can have them you can have them ask for the um, username, or they just type it in, but the problem is if they misspell it, or they don't do capitalization, then it doesn't work, and then they've got them barking at you because it didn't work, and then they're complaining, and it's a big mess. Or you can just not ask for Minecraft character, not recommended, because then you can't give them their items. I mean, if it's just a donation, I guess so, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, this is, you can return PayPal, one of these, I'm just putting this email in, hit save form, US currency, say save form. Purchase log, this will tell you all the purchases you get. Payment terms, basically, the user must agree to these terms to proceed with the payment. That's important because you don't want them suing you because they didn't watch, they didn't read the terms because they wasn't required. Give them the terms, so that my purchasing the following, you, I purchasing the following terms. You agree to the following terms. New refunds, um, I don't know. Whatever you say here. And hit save form. Then you go to discount coupons. This is basically um, adding coupons to it. You hit create coupon. Coupon code. This is the code they enter to get the coupon. Start date. The time that the coupon will become valid. The date. The end date is when it will become unvalid. Um, percentage off. You can do it by percentage off the price. Or you can do it um, um, by dollars or value off. Um, uses. Basically, this say you can say, you know, the first five people to get it can, you know, get the discount and do that. So just say the first one person, you hit create coupon, and it'll come. Notifications, you can check off what you want, and um, and you guys can, you know, send a private message to the user, do 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 to the owner, to admins, whatever. You guys can also um, email them, which is important, and it'll give them the information, the username that they enter, what they bought, item price, description, all this stuff, and you guys can customize it to what you want. Hit save form. And that's pretty much it as long as far as that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's close this up here. And we'll just hit add module. We have to edit it and then we have to add module. And now it's here and we can rename it to just shop. Now I'll go ahead and view page. And you'll see this is the site. Um, this is the site. You just hit VIP. You say, ooh, this is VIP for 10 days, you get these commands, test test one, ooh, okay, I want to buy that. You got a picture here if you want, buy, you can apply um, a discount coupon, I'm going to say summer, that's the one I made just because it was um, the end of summer, so coupon, I don't know. 50% um, off, worked, I agree to the terms and conditions, you can read them here, and it, you can hit PayPal. Now remember, you have to agree to them. So you can't click with it. And then you can continue. And once you get the payment, they will receive whatever commands that you um, had said in there. Um, so, yeah, I believe that's it. They'd pay, and then you'd get the money, and then they'd get whatever um, you had specified in there. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm teaching you guys how to use the Engine plugin for Engine hosting for um, people. And show you guys how to get these tags how to make them sync with your user, how to make a shop, um, and that's pretty much it. So be sure to um, please comment rate, and subscribe and download this plugin if you have an engine um, website so you guys can have some fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, this new one,